morning, you guys. Hello. No, <laughs> give the color red to blues. Give, it, give the color red. Hey, Chris, man, with some money in my pocket, keep up. <laughs> <laughs> he said, keep up. If I say I'm moving, man, you're gonna have to keep up, man. Get your pinky springs up to the moon. What y'all trying to do? 24 carat magic in the air. It took so pain. They tell me that don't feel good, man. I'm sorry. That has such an old school feel. I know, right? <laughs> and this is why I like it. Good morning, everyone's. Everybody's. What up? How is you? How is you? How's everybody doing, man? It's real around here. You know what I'm talking about? Good morning, good morning. Mm -hmm. What y'all trying to do? Mm -hmm. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. <laughs> Morning, you wonderfully wonderful, charismatic, Good great, morning. infectiously wonderful people. Um, <laughs> I said you're infectiously wonderful. That means when you start turning on your wonderful, everybody get everybody's at risk. <laughs> Well, good morning, y'all. Hey, we are rolling again. It's all about the kids. We we got such an awesome response from the uh, blended family thing that we talked about yesterday. Uh, we're asking everybody to keep your antennas up because we got something. Uh, we got something mm -hmm. in the works with the whole blended family thing. But this is all about the kids week. Um, we discussed a few things yesterday again with the whole blended family thing, but today is a very epic topic because we are living in 2K17. The fact that we're living in 2K17, there are some things that a lot of people feel uh, that the rules have changed. That there are things that uh, that worked back in the day that's not going to work now when it comes to raising kids. Mm -hmm. And so uh, with that being said, to this morning's topic is, well, we titled it, uh, Can I Say Something? But the premise behind the topic is, does your kids have a say? Mm -hmm. Do they have a say so? Now, a couple of things that we, you know, when we were talking about it, there was a couple of things that came to mind. But um, one of the things that we always talk about, especially when we're doing the marriage builders and we're talking about building, marriage builds uh, families and families build legacy and all that stuff. Absolutely. But um, when it comes to uh, your kids having to say, one of the things that we say is we want to make sure, especially being the head, especially being the, uh, the head of my house, I want to make the best decision possible. So when I say I want to make the best decision possible for my family, I have to also take into consideration, too, that uh, my kids are part of the team as well yes but with that being mm -hmm. said we're finna get ready to go a little deeper into it just how much say so does, does your, your kids, kids have just how much input are are they allowed to input into what's going on because we see we see the positive sides of it and we do and see the, the negative, negative sides side. of it <laughs> and so we wanted to talk about it this morning and kind of address it now here's the thing um when it comes to the positive side of your kids having a say so you want your kids to uh be rational thinkers and, and and uh them being a part of the family, whatever decision that you make is going to affect them too. Say for instance, you're getting ready to move 
or something along those lines, and they've already established themselves at a school or in a city or whatever, and now they have to pick up and move. You want to find out how they feel about it. Can they handle it? What's going on? What are you thinking about it? Because you want to be responsible in your decision. Now, nine times out of ten, you're probably going to wind up moving anyway. But you want them to feel as comfortable as possible. Yeah. You got Because to me, honestly, um, I always feel like as a man, you should be able to explain yourself. So whatever decision that you come up with, whatever thing you whatever uh, conclusion you come to, if anybody asks you about it, you should be able to explain it. So that part of um, that part of it, I believe the kids should have uh, some somewhat of a, a, a say so. Uh, not in not in the actual decision, but you have to take their feelings into consideration. Does that make sense? I, I I can relate to that because my mom, I was in, I had just started middle school. And my mom picked us up out of, you know, uh, Generate, Louisiana, and moved us to Beaumont, Texas. And I don't recall having a, a conversation where I was able to give my input on yeah. how I felt about it. It was just, we moving and, you know, that's it. Yeah, you know absolutely. What I'm but um, I understand because I want my kids to feel comfortable absolutely. with what we're getting ready to do. Yes, it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, people move for different reasons. We were in the Air Force. Yeah, you know absolutely. What I'm saying? And when we had to relocate to a different station, there was no, uh, well... We didn't have a choice. What's your opinion? Yeah. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? It's, yeah. You know, you, we got to go. But you have to, in, in talking to them, um, I believe that it's it, it's a it's a way of making them comfortable with the decision that's about to be made. You know what absolutely. I'm saying? Absolutely. And, and, when, I, and when, I, when I say that, because you don't want the backlash of what could happen with your kids when they feel like they have no voice yeah. in certain things. You know what I'm saying? Or they're not able to voice how they feel because then they'll become adults yeah. who can't voice how they feel. And then they just blowing up, you know, when they've gotten to a point where they, they've taken so much. Absolutely. You know so I, I think it's important that you, you provide opportunities for your kids to Absolutely. speak freely. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to provide those opportunities where they can actually say, um, how they're feeling in a safe place, mm -hmm. um, where they where they won't uh, receive the re the repercussions of talking out of turn, yeah. because there's still uh, there is still and we finna get ready to talk about that too, because there has to be a, a even with everything that we talk about, there has to be a balance to it. Mm -hmm. There has to be a balance to it. You have to provide your kids opportunities where they can speak um, freely and they can voice how they feel yes. respectfully. Mm -hmm. You know, but still be able to voice how they feel because you don't want them to, again, like Pastor said, you don't want them to be kids that don't have a voice, that, that don't know how to articulate themselves, that don't know how to uh, express how they feel yeah. uh, when they leave your house. They don't, know so, to, and then they, they don't know how to balance their emotions. Absolutely. Like, have all this pent up anger and aggression and frustration yeah. on the inside because I have no, no outlet to yeah. no, no outlet to get it yeah. out. Yeah, even mm -hmm. in the military, we used to have a, a position, uh, permission to speak freely. Or permission to speak, you know, we had to ask for it, but you know, my nine times out of ten, they allowed it. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 gotta have even in the strictest of discipline situations, they have to have a an opportunity to be able to say, you know, what they feel or how they feel about something, uh, free from the repercussions of it. Now the thing, the thing, because we talk to our kids, and but they have to know that we make the ultimate decision. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So absolutely, you, but I do you, care how you feel. Absolutely. Yeah, I do care how you feel. Now. <laughs> let's uh let's let's shift gears a little bit because um that's the positive side of it and the positive side is always a great side because you want your kids to have you know somewhat of a, a, a say and you want their feelings to be considered but then when we say uh how much say so do your kid do you, does your kid have there are times when a kid should be a kid there are some, some conversations that your kids should not be privy to. There are some conversations that your kids need not know of. There are some conversations that your kids' opinion uh, shouldn't be uh, valued. There are some. There are a lot of. I mean, uh, and what I mean by what I mean by what I'm saying is there are there are times when um, there are a lot of people that I know. That because they were raised a certain way, they now take a different approach with their kids, and then they try to figure out uh, what a kid's rebellion and why they so uh, flippant for the most part. Where does that come from? 
And, mm -hmm. you know, it, 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 it's, it's a double-edged sword. That's why I say you have to provide a time and let them know, hey, this is the time when you speak freely. Mm -hmm. This is the time, you know, when you can uh, say how you feel, respectfully say how you feel. And, and you know, we're going gonna to listen and we're going to, you know, go from there. But then there are times when uh, kids have too much of a say-so. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen situations where kids... Um, there are adults in the room. Now I'm still they, hey man, I'm just this uh I'm just this uh forward thinking and and revolutionary and, and uh evolving in my thoughts and all that stuff as anybody else. But then there are some instances where uh there has to be a line drawn. Because if you don't learn how to draw a line with your kids in their conversation, they're gonna feel like they can speak freely no matter where they are, no matter what the situation is. Um <clears throat> There are times when kid, when parents choose to take a different a different approach with their kids, and uh, they do the you know say say how you feel or just go ahead and say it or whatever, mm -hmm. and it don't really work out the way you think it should. Um, because, uh, I'm trying to find a nice way to say it. Sometimes the child just needs to be in the child's place. I guess that's the easiest, most simplest. Way to say it. There are some there are some situations, circumstances <laughs> where the kids should not be involved. If and and, and my, I, go ahead, go ahead. I, I okay. So <laughs> I, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're saying. Okay. So what gets me is when if I'm having a conversation with another adult, and um, your child can step into the conversation and talk like they're a third adult. Um, um no no that ain't that ain't how that works. <laughs> nah, cause I mean here here's the here here's the backlash of it. Sometimes your kid your child can quote unquote grow up faster than they need to. Absolutely. And um again when they feel like when they don't understand the parameters of um when they don't have a they don't understand the parameters of when and where to talk. And how to express themselves, mm -hmm. um, they're gonna mess around and mess over a lot of stuff that you probably work hard to build. Yeah. Say, for instance, you took a lot of time to work and build mm -hmm. up um, a business or something like that, and then you get to a point where it's time for you to turn it over to your kid. If they don't have a good base of how to um, how to talk to people, when should they speak, and and all this stuff, man, you might mess around and they they be sitting there and you trying to close a million dollar deal, but because they don't understand that there's a time when you're supposed to speak and a time when they're supposed to be quiet, mm -hmm. they blow the deal and the business fold and everything that you work for is gone. I think a lot of times, man, kids that kids that speak freely become adults that speak freely, and when there's no discipline or no parameters to it, then you find those kids that. Uh, they they working at McDonald's, and I ain't frying no fries today. I ain't coming to fry fries. Yesterday I worked on the register. How come I can't work on the register today? Well, you ain't the manager. Good morning. That ain't that ain't that ain't your position. Yeah. Just... And now you done popped off, and now you done lost something that you you tried to work to get. I hope that I hope that makes sense. It does. So it got to be some guidelines, man. Yeah, you want your kids to be able to express themselves. Yeah, you want to know you want to know how they feel, but then you got to put some kind of uh some kind of parameters around their conversation <coughs> around the things that they even say mm -hmm. because sometimes man kids can bring stuff from home from school and from their friends and try to bring that stuff into your house and think that it's cool and for some parents that still that's on the level of trying to be cool with their kids because i don't want to whip my child like i got whipped i think if they would have just talked to me i would have got an understanding and we they didn't have to do all that so i'm just gonna allow my kids to just speak and Okay, that's cool, but then there always has to be some kind of parameters around it, man. I think it's just the undisciplined that comes around being able to speak freely that that brings about a a, a much bigger problem. Yeah. Because now you got a whole lot, you got a whole lot of kids. Like I say, they're able to speak freely. They go to school, they say what they want. They talk to the teachers, they say what they want. They come home, they say what they want. When when is there a time when they they actually have some boundaries around it? And and nobody saying anything. I guess I guess we uh, touching some punch people in the stomach this morning. Mm, you know, there's a there's a time and a place for everything. You know Absolutely. So as when while they're children, you teach them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when to when to ha when to speak? Uh, not because I don't want to make it sound like they dogs. You know no, what I'm saying? It's but, not that, but it's just it's just it's not a when to speak kind of thing. It's just 
they got, it has to be some okay. Have you ever have you, and and, and y'all chime in whenever you have you ever just been around and you've heard a child talk to their parents or their mother or father in a way that just wasn't it just wasn't cool. That goes with what Rashida said. She yeah. said, I'm 38 and get chills thinking about what, what my mama would do to me if I was even listening to an adult conversation. And that's how it was. You know what I'm saying? My grandma and my mom and all of them used to be like, if we walked in the room, there was a time when we, if we walked in a room and we saw them all sitting on a couch, we politely did a about face and walked back out that room. Nowadays, the kids come in and have a seat on the couch. Yeah. Yeah. I, Wait a and, minute. and I'm not saying that our kids are perfect because there are times when I have to uh, almost threaten um, um, physical harm to my kids to make them leave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, but, but it's not like it used to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was. You walked in the room, they was talking, and you said, "Oh no," and you walked out because you already knew it would be pointed out. Like you know, or everybody in the room would stop and look at you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And that's how it was, and I. But nowadays, it's not like that. You know and then saying? some people would call it, uh, "You just old school. You old. You don't get." Hey, man, I think it's. I think it's. It's yeah. some stuff, man, that just that I don't as a. I just don't compromise on, man. The 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 kids at my church, they know without a doubt. Every last one of every single one of them know that Pastor Ronnie. Love them. He gonna hug them. He gonna kiss on them. He gonna uh, he gonna play a little bit or whatever. But when it's time to be serious or when it's time to, for something to come across, I ain't, I don't play like that. But they now they they call it uh you just mean. Yeah, that's the that, 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 that oh yeah mean. yeah. Is that there man. are boundaries, and if you are a child, I want you to stay a child as long as possible. And that's the one thing we tell our older son, like son. You're 14, you know, there's going to come a time when you're going to have to get a job, you're going to have bills, you know what I'm saying, you're going to have, you're going to have responsibilities. I want you to be a kid as long as possible. Treasure. If you have an adult conversation and you are a kid, I want you to stay a kid. Yeah. I need you to go find some more kids to play with. Right now, while I, we having this adult conversation, I cannot, for the life of me, stand... When a kid butts in on a grown up, nah, man, you like gotta be correct. Like I said earlier, like they they are another grown up. Yeah, and I'm like, and I know a lot of times, man. For me, I know for us, like if our kids do it, we go to we go from zero to ten. But when other kids do it, it's I like you just you gotta yeah no. <laughs> I mean, I'm still gonna correct them if you don't like it, then you just don't like it. I, I get it, but I, I you have to I have to. Hey, baby, look, we're talking me. We're talking right now. Mm-hmm. Give me a minute, and I'll be over there. Where you at? Yeah. Cause some we understand mm-hmm. that that what we teach is not always taught in everybody else's home, <laughs> and 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 it's, it's not a knock on every. It's not a knock on other people's parenting skills at mm-hmm. all. It's not a, it's not a slight in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Mm-hmm. But it's something that has to be pointed out. What did um Portia say? Portia said, "If if my kids walk in the room and we are talking, we stop and look at them, and they know to either leave or if they need something to quickly state the request and leave. It's one thing when my kids do this; they be like, we'll be talking, and they'll come up and be like, Dad, Dad, yeah. Dad, and we'll be like, I'm about to knock your head off your shoulders. First well, of not all, that's it's not the right way. <laughs> that's not the right way to say that. You didn't say excuse me, and that's the one thing that because. Mm-hmm. That whole excuse me thing? Yeah, I think I think it's a lost... Um... Shakur said, I had a healthy fear of talking when adults were talking. You get in trouble now for popping a child in the mouth or inserting themselves in, a, in adult conversation, and that's true. You don't go to jail in your house. <laughs> but if that kid get a bruise or a bump and they go to school with it, then they like knocking on your door. Find the most direct way. <laughs> Where their teeth not involved. So Have them hold their lip out. Do this. And pop them. Right, let me see your duck lips, baby. Ain't that what they do to your day? Duck lips? As soon as they do their duck lips, shut your... <laughs> All right. That, yeah, that's probably Nicole not Nicole said, my sons are able to come to me and tell me how they truly feel. But they know at the end of the day, there's a line drawn. And some kids will see how far they can go. Hold on. They can go. But if you don't nip it in the bud, you got, you got more. Yeah. Oh, no. 
if you don't nip it in the bud right because I'd rather beat them now than the streets beat them later. Absolutely. Yes, and that, and that's, it goes right along with what we were saying, Nicole, about that gotta, it has to be some kind of parameters. It has to be some guidelines. Yes, you want your kids to come and, and, and express themselves to you Absolutely. and tell you how they feel. Mm -hmm. and, and especially those that are going through uh, puberty and stuff like that. Their, their body goes through changes and they need guidance through that stuff. So they have to be able to say to you, this is what I'm feeling, mm -hmm. even if it's uncomfortable. But what we're talking about is there are sometimes, man, when kids will, like I say, they bring how they talk to their friends or they bring things that mm -hmm. from, from their surroundings or their environment into the home. And sometimes some parents just don't check it. They just like, oh, well, you know, I was, they tried to do me like that and I turned out okay. And like, no, you didn't. There was a conversation I saw on, uh, on Facebook. It was a video. And, um... This kid wanted something from the store. Oh, out of my. the store. And the mom said, you got money for that? And the kid was like, well, you have a credit card. But just put it on your credit card. And the mom was like, well, where the money come? You got a job. That's what you work for. And I was like, whoa, wait. Hold on. I'm, on, I'm, I'm doing a screen like this. I'm like, I can't get I can't That conversation should have been nipped. You know, Where's when that's, I said no, like, no, that's, it sh that should have been it. But the fact that some kids feel like they can continue a conversation with you. Without like you nipping adult. that in the bud. Okay, <laughs> uh, there's a time when you speak freely, baby. This ain't that time. <laughs> and that's the truth, hey, man. This ain't the time to speak freely, man. Look, if I did have the boldness to build my self-esteem up enough to even ask for anything. Yeah. If... The no had come across. That was solidified. That was it. There was like no they, more conversation. Feel, some kids feel like they can change your mind. Yeah, like no, ain't like, ain't no negotiation. Hey, man, you about to make me go to jail, man. I I already said no. That's that's just because sometimes I'm not gonna even lie. Sometimes my youngest son, my baby son. He will sometimes try to push me he to the limit. And I don't do well with that. I think a lot of times he think that Jamarlin is supposed to be the one that I discipline. Or Renaya is supposed to be the one I get on and not him. And these last couple of weeks, man, I've been feeling like I... I, how do I look in orange? That's all. That's what I've been saying to myself. <laughs> and boy, he about to make me go off. He really finna make me go off. I done, I done had to... I've had to... Assert myself <laughs> in such a manner oh, that he uh, he was completely <laughs> affirmed in my stance on the, the initial directive that I gave him. <laughs> <laughs> but he knew he got I, the point. <laughs> I don't play like that. Say, man, when I said no the first time, that's what I meant. We simply want our kids to be adults when to, when to, because you have to know when to, what, what, what battles to fight, what arguments are worth fighting, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? So some of the arguments that, that kids nowadays, or some of the, some of the times where they insert their opinion is not, that's not the time for that. You Absolutely. Know what I'm so, and you know what, I don't mean, please hold your thought, but mm -hmm. I had to say this too, because All the time, the home is where correction comes from. Mm -hmm. Sometimes your kids bring their outside conversation into the home to see if what happened outside is actually the right thing to do. And when you don't, as a parent, check that thing immediately, whatever that conversation is or whatever it might be, when you don't check it, you give them, without even saying, permission to be able <laughs> to do that. So a lot of times when they bring stuff home and, and they talking to their girls or their homeboy and they like, Girl, I don't know why. And then they come home with their mama and be like, girl, girl I, don't I don't know, know why. why. First of all. Oh, hold on, time out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who is girl? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, 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 when we, when last time we went to school together, man, you graduated together? Mm -mm. No, but it started at the lip smack. Yeah. Girl, that lip smack. I ain't <laughs> with it. I ain't with it. And like I say, they, they, they look for that discipline, that guidance from home. They need that. They need to know that, hey, that's not okay. And so when you don't check it, when you when you start seeing a lot of the outside come into your home and you know that's not what you instilled in your kids. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, you, you what we do for our kids is we try to provide some kind of blueprint or a path that way when they leave your house 
and you know they're no longer under your covering, so to speak, yes. that they can survive and be able to, you know, mm -hmm. cohabitate in this world and be, you know, a productive citizen or even chase after their dreams and know when and where to assert themselves and all that stuff and how to talk to people. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of kids that just don't have a clue. And we, I work in that field. Well, you just got a lot of kids that just don't have those skills. They don't know how to adapt. They don't know how to, okay, when I'm talking to my friends, yeah, this is the conversation. But when I'm talking to an adult, the, the, I, my, my conversation, my tone has to change because this is an adult. Mm -hmm. And you have those kids that don't have those skills because they're not getting it at home. Yes. So, yeah, do your kids have a say-so or can they say something? They absolutely can, but they got to know when to speak. They got to know how to speak. They got to know what kind of conversation is going to get the best results. Because sometimes even kids, even your pre, even the kids' presentation. Yeah. Because sometimes they just, when you don't check some of the stuff they do, they feel like their presentation works in every situation, in every environment, and they're trying to figure out how why they can't advance. And it's because you didn't check them. Mm -hmm. So, and 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 we don't just put that on our kids. We have the people that are around us that you know we trust and that's responsible. Hey man, don't let my child. If you're I around them and you hear them, mm -hmm. don't don't let them. Now, no. everybody, now, everybody can't discipline my children. That's, yeah. just, that's just my truth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because some people have anger issues. Some people, you know, their discipline way, disciplining ways are not the same as ours. Their values are not the same as ours. So, you know, I'm very... Uh, and I know back in the day, it used to be everybody could correct everybody's kids. Yeah. Nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Everybody don't think the same. Some people feel like it's cute and okay to to argue back and forth with a child. Yeah. Hey, if you feel that way, I'm gonna need you to not correct mine because that ain't cute and they gonna they, they might not um you might not see them no more. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be different. <laughs> if what? they feel like they can argue back and forth with me. Portia was saying earlier, she said okay. um uh my son would try to negotiate at home but I wish he would in a store. I would lose my mind. I ain't got time for that. Then she uh. said, no is a complete sentence. That's what I was laughing at. Yeah. No is a complete sentence. You want to negotiate, join a debate team. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I feel and the same way. Mr. Mike said, the problem I see is even when the kids reach a certain age, they think they can talk to the parents in the kind of way and then say, hey, I am grown now. No. Uh, you, if That's, you, okay. If, so that was one thing that I... I, I I'm about to lose my bro. See... Um, that's one thing that bothers me because grown is not a number. Like, that, we, like they'll get to 18 or 16 or 18 and be like, I'm almost grown or I'm grown. Man, no, that, grown is a, a state of mind. It's not a number. Jesus. 18 don't mean you're grown, boo. Man, let like, me break <laughs> look. There is a thing. Yes, you're absolutely grown, but then there's a thing called respect. Grown? Bottom line, yeah, you. I, I have no problem. Hey, if you grown, I, here is my definition of grown. Grown means you have your, you signed your own lease and or mortgage. Mm -hmm. You have your own utility bill and all that stuff. And if you want to be grown in that sense, then be grown at your house. Do not come by me <laughs> if you feel like you need to be grown around me. Yeah, I know, cause this stuff, this stuff that's got to be addressed, man. Because I don't, there is no age to respect, yeah. man. I'm, I'm grown as they get, and there's a certain, there's a certain way that I talk to my mother. Mm -hmm. There's a certain way that I address my father, mm -hmm. and 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 it don't have nothing to do with being grown. I just don't flippantly cuss around my mama I or flippantly cuss that. around my daddy. It's it just, it's just not I cool. See, I even, I'm 35. My mom is 54. And my mom just turned 55. I cannot at 35, it, talking to my mother, I cannot curse in front of her. No, Even man. at 35, her being 55, me having three kids, I'm married, you know, I have, we have businesses. I, all, I still can't do it. Yeah. And I don't understand how people get to an age. It's just, well, I just, like man, I just pop well, off around what? my mom. If that's your environment, if that's how y'all kick it, I just can't. Yeah. For me, my mom is still, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you, mama. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't call about her. Well, we'll joke when we joke. Joking. I call her yeah. Rose. You know what I'm saying? Because that's her name. Yeah, I call her Rose. But if it's, and even when I do that with my mom, I still call her Miss Inez. <laughs> she do. Yeah, hey, Miss Inez. <laughs> but I might if we're joking and I and, and I'm joking and she know I'm joking. Like it's not gonna get into a serious conversation. Yeah. I'll be like, all right, look, Rose. Yeah, nah, that. that ain't how that works. That because it's just, happen. it's just that's in, just respect, in man. In the area of the world, that's just respect. <laughs> just and and I and and that and that that that. That idea is passed on to kids, and then they, then your kids turn out that way, and then you trying to figure out what's wrong with your child. 
Hey man, it's just some stuff that you got to nip in the bud. What Nicole now, said. Now my mom is not as strict now as she was back then. No, because the, the roles still, have changed. But I mean, it's the, still yeah. I mean, the respect factor. Absolutely, I man. I that that never left. I can't push that away or, or kick that, you know, down the coast. That that never left. I'm finna pull it back up. I just I had to slide down because it was. She said each child is different, and you can't discipline them the same way because what works for one may not work for the other one. The three I have, my oldest, I can. Get in his face and get some act right, but my middle, if I take something from him, it hurts him more. But that baby boy, I have to lay hands <laughs> on daily. I tell him, I'm not your friend, I'm I'm your mom, and everything I do is preparing you to be a man, not a boy in a man body. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Yes, indeed. And that's the thing, and that a lot of times kids don't understand that, uh, that we are, whatever we're doing is coming from... It's coming from a genuine place. It's coming from a place that, hey, man, look, I've I've seen this type of behavior and I've seen where it got this person or these people mm -hmm. and it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So if whatever you do after you leave my house, then that's one thing. I'm going to say this. Go ahead. Okay. So I don't want my kids to be adults and act like Donald Trump. He's our president. I know he is, but sometimes that man does not know man, what he don't he know what somebody, to say. He should have got a, a, he he got got like, a whooping a long, long, like, long time ago, sir. sir. Why did you say that? no? Wait, sir. wait, wait a minute, he's the sir. Of sir, not being <laughs> real. sir. What do you? What do you mean alternative I'm facts? Sorry, what do you? What do you mean <laughs> fake news? What I do mean, you mean? It's not a nice. He's answer it. Sir, you're the president of the United States. You don't get it. You don't. You don't get. The, you don't have that right. What about no. what about health care reform? That's not a nice question. No. And I, wait, wait. He was doing a press conference, and I, I, they kept replaying it. The reporter was asking him a question, and he blatantly ignored her. And she said, "Sir, are you going to answer the question?" And he was like, "Oh, I, I don't." No, think. he didn't say nothing. He was just like. <laughs> Man, yeah, get like out of you here, in man. front of the you not, you in front of the world get on TV here, and you are in sir, get your mom here, and daddy man. was wrong. Grow up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Grow but up. I, you, this you don't is, want this your, is the time to speak, sir. You don't want your yeah. kids to we don't want our kids to grow up and 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 have they, those kind of characteristics. Absolutely. They should they they should know how to articulate themselves. Absolutely. There's something wrong and not right. They should know how to express themselves mm -hmm. or be able to explain to somebody why they don't feel like something is right yeah. when they're given the opportunity when the platform is presented to them to actually be able to speak. Mm -hmm. Um they got to know, you know, when when to stand up and when not to stand up, how to stand up and how to get right results yes. when you do stand up. Mm -hmm. They also have to know when and where to actually provide their opinion. Yes. If this is not the op if this is not the time for you to speak, then don't speak. Or you know, you can always find a way. I always tell my kids, man, look, man, if if something go on in class and you don't get it and you don't understand it, hey, Get a before you either get to that class early the next day or stay a little bit after class. That teacher will write you a slip, you know, to say that you was late because you were talking to her. But get your question answered, but find a right way to do it because sometimes you just don't do it in front of the kids because that causes the teacher to lose control of the class in some cases. So you got to find, you got to, you got to instill that stuff in your kids, man, and you got to let them know on, on, in no uncertain terms that speaking and speaking freely in a lot of cases is not the right way to do it. Uh, I don't care how old my kids oh. get. If they if they in their seventies and and I'm in my hundreds, they hey you man. If you come to my house, respect my house. Mm -hmm. Respect my house. Respect. Re if you can't do that, I love you. I care about you. I I want to see you do well in life. But if you can't respect my house or respect your tone, your tone in my house, then that's why you got your own. Feel free to go over there. Shoot me a text message. But if I if I if I feel like you flipping off, and I know you probably bigger or stronger than me, I know how to I know how to fight fair. I take my cane and hit you. All right. <laughs> Keep playing with me, man. The Mike said, "I tell my daughter if you meet a young man and you see how he treats his mother uh, in a lot of cases, that tells you a lot about the young man's upbringing and character and how his tone is towards his mother, the way he speaks to her, the way he addresses her. Cussing at her, if yeah. You're talking to you crazy, you might want. My mama got me, man. And then man, why are you uh, calling me? I told you I was. You know I told you I was gonna be home. Man. I'm gonna need you to find a new boyfriend because yeah, because um, I'm about to, I'm about to hit him. Because <laughs> if you talk to his mama like that, he gonna talk to you. Like yeah, that. absolutely, and there ain't no exception to the rule. And if and if and if 
we could be on this all day, man. But we got we got things to do that we gotta get doing. These last two couple these these topics from yesterday and today has been awesome, man. But we're gonna keep rolling. But the reason why we feel a need and I know it's the marriage builders, but we're addressing this oh, stuff because like we said earlier, man, healthy marriages bring healthy kids, which brings longevity and legacy. Yeah. And so you you have to, as a married couple, you have if you have kids. There are things that need to be addressed, and we have to provide sometimes a platform for parents to be able to not only express how they feel, but in some cases for us to give some kind of insight as to why things are happening the way they're happening, man, because they are categorizing our children, and, and a lot of it comes from they're not getting the training that they need at home. They're not getting the discipline that they need at home in order to be able to, to maintain some stuff or to be able to, some kids, some of your kids right now, if you be honest, man, if you turn them over a million dollar corporation, you would be nervous. Or you would probably just work until you just about die because you're not comfortable giving something over to them. Miss um, Miss Katie said you know, she's an ex teacher. Yeah, absolutely. A retired teacher. Absolutely. She said if they don't respect their teachers, they probably don't respect their, their parents. parents. And it's true. Mm -hmm. It's true, man. Because I tell, hey, man, one of the things that we tell our kids all the time is when you get to school, that teacher is us. Yes. Whatever she or he asks you to do. Mm -hmm. ain't, 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 ain't no negotiating that And then on top of that As a parent You should want to have A close relationship With your child's teachers Absolutely You know what I'm saying like, Absolutely Because I mean Go you ahead Keep the lines of communication Open between you and her We have some teachers um, That have never met Their their, their students uh, Parent yeah. You know what I'm saying So they don't, don't play know that. They don't So they're confused As to how to even Deal with the kids Like I don't even know Who your mom is So I can't even call her yeah. You know what I'm saying And, and say, then you got the parents That feel like they they kid ain't never wrong mm -hmm. because they don't want they don't want to be mean. Yeah. Whatever and that so means. So then you got stressed out teachers who can't teach. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey man, it's and a much or, it's a much but bigger thing. Then on the flip thing. side, then you got some teachers that just they just there for the paycheck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But and, it, it, when it comes to that, again, I'm I'm always one of them catches. I want to make sure that my, my kids are doing what they're supposed absolutely. to do. Absolutely. Bottom line, if the teacher not teaching correctly, I will deal with that because I'm the parent and they're an adult. Yes. You know what I'm saying? If you come home and tell me that something ain't right, let me deal with that. It ain't your time to speak on nothing because I don't need you. I don't need them uh, spewing their venom on you because of something that you said. And now you're categorized as a bad child. And now when you just switched and went to another grade, that teacher's talking to your new teacher saying, mm -hmm. oh, they just bad and all this different stuff. No, you let me deal with that. Yes. Bring that home to me. Let adults deal with adult stuff. But that also goes along too with your kids have to know when and where to talk. If your teacher is asking you to do something that is going to harm your body or cause you to lose your life or something mm -hmm. along them lines, then don't do it. I deal with it. Now, sometimes it is true that kids will go to school and act differently at school than they will do at home. Absolutely. But that's why you got to do surprise visits. If they never oh, know when you're coming, oh. you know what I'm saying? I have a friend of one of my uh, classmates. She took a picture of her sitting in the classroom with the face that she was going to show her daughter, that her daughter was going to see when she walked in the door. Yeah. And I loved it. Because mm -hmm. now you ha you're you gaining respect from that parent, from that, that teacher. You know what I'm saying? And you're you're more prone to have a, a better school year for your child yeah. because you know you're being active and a participant in you know the discipline yeah, and absolutely. they cutting up show up you know what i'm oh, saying oh man i don't think they stop <laughs> me from going up the stairs because they won't let me and you know your kids bad hey. shoot they bad at home yeah <laughs> and you helped it <laughs> so, hey bottom line is do, do you can your kids say something hey absolutely can man you want them to be are uh, able to express themselves and articulate and themselves and all that way. stuff, but you have to have some parameters around your kids and their conversation and how they do things and how they say what they say and don't ever be scared to check your child. Don't don't ever say, well, it ain't that bad or it ain't because they're not going to be with you all the time. And a lot of times, kid, they raise and you're trying to figure out why your kids won't leave home. It's because they are. That's, that's the place that they get their way. They gotta go. They yeah, gotta they. Gotta that's go. the place that they get their way. So I'm not going. My kids I'm, gonna be running from. Yeah, eyes. I'm not leaving because I don't want to. You know, what I'm saying I. I don't get that. I don't get to do what I want to do when I'm out there in the world. I can't talk like I want to talk when I'm out there in the world because they'll fire me or whatever. My grandmother man. taught me. Must you rest in peace. 
She taught us if she didn't play that. You don't get in on a grown adult conversation. Man, you did not do that. Man, my grandmother, you you <laughs> you, you, fi you fix that spit cup because they all chew tobacco. I you fix that spit cup and you my leave the room. My grandmother did that. They'll call you and tell you when to go dump that spit cup and you go back in the room. <laughs> or you go outside and play. And sometimes they'll tell you don't come back in until we done. <laughs> my grandma said a pitch of water outside. Be like, man, this, this cold. Put some ice in it. Stay out there and play. We talking. I just can't get the spit cup out. Yeah, that spit cup was terrible. Now that part of it I don't agree with. I don't think I should be dumping people spit or big mama, but it happened. <laughs> so hey man, but uh we love y'all man. Again, man, you know we could be all morning talking Absolutely. about this, man. But you know I'm late again. Yeah. Very. But we love y'all, man. We appreciate y'all. Let's pray real quick. Father, thank you. thank you. Thank you, Father, for your word declares that you discipline those whom you love. Yes, and Father, we would not withhold discipline from our kids. Yes, we will love them. Yes, we will care about them. Yes, we will be their number one supporters. But we have to make sure, Father, that they are uh, that they have the boundaries and the guidelines that they need and the blueprint, Father, that they need to be successful, productive citizens in this world that you've given us, Father. We know, Father, that all things are possible to him that believe. We know, Father, that you set this world up in a way that we can be successful and productive yes. and father that everything that we do father is for your glory father even the way we raise our kids so continue to strengthen us every married couple every engaged couple every single parent father those that have kids and those that want to see their kids do well father i ask that you just continue to give them wisdom as to when and where and how to do things father that that child can be the best most productive child that they can be father we thank you right thank now you, we give you all the praise honor and glory in jesus name, in jesus name. Amen. Amen. amen 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 I, love, I knew a parent who got mad at the teacher for yelling at her son, didn't touch him, but yelled at him because he would not stop messing with another kid. She told him nicely three times. The parent still got mad. That's sad. That means no discipline is applied at home. Nah, man. It's, it's thick, man. But it's, I, I guess we, we, we wanted to shed light on it, man, because this is healthy, this is healthy discussion. This is stuff that needs to be talked about. This is, this is things that um, we need to set up some kind of uh, PTA meetings and address this stuff mm -hmm. at school. You know what I mean? Hopefully you have parents that are mature enough to actually have that type of conversation because you got some uh, parents that's just more concerned with being their, their, their kids' friends and their kids can do no wrong and all that stuff. And well, then they can't wait till their kids leave to go to school. Yeah, right on. Home. So it's a lot that goes into it, man. But we hope for hopefully, man, we didn't solve the problem this morning, but hopefully we shed some light on it and we put some dialogue to it. And, and hopefully, man, if one parent can go back and say, you know what, man, I need to switch up my style a little bit. I probably need to put some guidelines or, you know, lock down a little bit. Not because I'm, I'm being mean, but because I want to see my kids do the best that they possibly can. I don't want my kids categorized and, you know, different because they will do it. I, I firsthand witnessed it. They would categorize your kids yes. and they would just, whatever is on the paper that your kid did, no matter if they're a good person, they're going by that paper. So yeah. it is what it is, man. But we love y'all. We appreciate y'all, man. Y'all keep being y'all. Um, so um, y'all have a great day on purpose and in purpose. And remember, I love you as only Pastor L can. Peace. Hey man, hashtag is bigger than me. Hashtag moving forward. Hashtag no rearview mirrors. Hashtag I'm an impact toy. Hashtag this is absolutely <laughs> worth fighting for. And the biggest hashtag of them all, you wonderfully wonderful people. Don't just live. Make, Make an, an impact. impact. Love y'all so much. What y'all trying to do? If you haven't liked the Marriage Builders page, please, see, magic um, please go and like it and share. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all.